All right, Ben, week two, what we got? All right, week two. We got our 1K portfolio. We allocated about 20% of it. We got ETH, ADA, and of course the rest is in stable coins. Now, obviously, with 1K portfolio, ETH pumped, but it didn't make a substantial difference because a 10% pump on $100, we made 14 bucks here. Now, it's important to note that all three of our portfolios right now are up. Not that much. I think this one's up about 15 bucks. That one's up $100, 1% basically. And then of course the 25K is up $400. But we don't really have anything quite yet that I'm willing to take profits on. The only thing I would consider taking profits on and rolling into something else would be ETH because it, it pumps so well. But the only problem with that is that if you're going to try to take advantage of the fact that the merge is announced and the date is almost set in stone, we probably don't want to actually move out of ETH right now. There will be a time where we will take take profits, you just don't want to cannibalize your profits by pulling it out too quick, unless it's enough that you can roll into something else. That's really what you want to be looking at. So 1K, USDC, ETH, and ADA, the 10K, ETH, ADA, Stables, Polygon, and XRP. And of course, over here in the larger portfolio, you're able to put more in. So we got many different coins, USDC, ETH, ADA, Solana, BNB, FTT, Matic, and XRP. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about, there hasn't been a lot going on right now where I feel like there's all kinds of stuff I wanna add. So what we're gonna be talking about today is actually, we're gonna be making a change to all three of the portfolios, but I had to really dig down deep and figure out what do I want to do? What is a good strategy where you can put some money in at a time when the market has been going up a little bit because obviously we want to hold the majority of this for when things go down, but they may not go down. So where does that leave you? Where does that leave you if you're not sure if things are going to drop considerably, you think they will, well, maybe look for a combination of long-term plays that it doesn't matter if you're getting in or not at this point and shorter term plays. What are some things that we can do in order to try to make money in the short term when the market is going up? And so really a lot of what we're going to be looking at today is opportunities to kind of make a move and then take that move and hopefully make some profits off of it specifically to eventually roll in. Because I'm going to be honest with you, one of the coins we're going to be adding today, long-term hold. Love it. The other one, I'm not sure if it's a long-term hold or not, but what these two things have in common is both of them are, I think, a pretty good opportunity to maybe be able to make some money in the short term with them. Maybe as soon as it goes up, I might sell it completely and move into something else or accumulate more of these with this portfolio. Now, obviously, we had, I think, 20% allocated over here. I think it was 23% allocated here. And over here, we have about 26% allocated. In my opinion, we wouldn't want to take a considerable amount of our allocation away unless it's for something that you're going to hold long term. But even in the long term holds, you're still looking at what is the right time to add something. So, what we're going to be doing here with our 1K portfolio is we're actually going to be adding $100 worth of sand. Okay, so it's $100. So that will put us at about 30% allocated of this portfolio. And I'll be honest with you, I almost didn't add this because I don't want to allocate too much of my resources in a 1K portfolio. You just don't have that much wiggle room and you need more explosion to be able to take that money and roll it into something else. A 15% pump on a hundred bucks is only $15. That's not enough to add to anything else. So really though, since we are up $15 in this portfolio, really, you know, it's like we get ourselves a little more room. So, you know, it's almost like 85 bucks and we got 15 extra. So it will be a little bit less than 30% of the portfolio. But why am I adding sand? Well, number one, sand has a lot of potential to be a long-term hold. We love sandbox. We think it is really great. And I think it's gonna be the number one metaverse for a while by a considerable margin. We've been building a sandbox forever. We know the capabilities, it's awesome. But why would I wanna add it now? I didn't add it last week. Well, you know, I found something really interesting in the charts is I was looking today. Almost everything, if you go to CoinMarketCap, is up. You've got some things that are up, you know, I think near protocols up like 17%, something I thought about adding. Lido Finance, they're down up considerably. A lot of projects that have really, really, really been moving. However, Sandbox, even though the last seven days are explosive, and a lot of people think we're gonna continue to get an up rally still, a relief rally, it's dead even. <laughs> It's about exactly where it started last week. So if we're gonna take this, we're gonna say this could be a long-term hold for this portfolio, but also in the short term, we want to make some money with it. It could be, this is even, let's say it pumps 25% over the next week. Well, I might sell out of this completely and I might use that to reaccumulate something that I think is a little more important like XRP or add more ETH or more ADA. So we're gonna be adding $100 to this portfolio of sand with the understanding that we're not committed to this 30% of our portfolio being allocated forever. 
So that's what we're gonna be doing with this portfolio. Now, I do think that we are gonna to want to add sand to both of these portfolios, I believe. I'm not gonna add it to this one, I'll tell you one in a second. We are gonna add sand here. So we're gonna add $750 worth of sand here because I think that this is a good amount that once again, since it's even and everything else is up, things are moving in the right direction, which has been pretty volatile recently. We can make some money on that. We can roll it into something else, okay? I'm not gonna put it in the 10K portfolio. So what you're seeing is the first time we're gonna have something in the thousand, something here, we're not gonna put it on the 10K because I really feel like with the 10K portfolio, I really feel like there's just not enough for me to add a long-term hold right now and the play that I'm about to talk about. So what is the hottest thing going on right now? Obviously, it's the ETH merge, right? What coins have been affected by that? Well, Matic, obviously. Obviously, we looked at potential of Ethereum Classic. Now, on the live stream this morning, I talked to you about being careful to add some of these coins because they've been so explosive in relation to the ETH merge. However, when I pulled up the chart, I saw something very interesting, which was Optimism had moved up considerably over the last month. However, it's now retraced back to support, which lines up for maybe another all-time high for Optimism in the near future. Now, Optimism is a layer two optimistic roll-up solution for Ethereum. So what that means is it makes Ethereum transactions go faster. The merge doesn't affect the speed of the transactions yet. That'll come later with sharding. So we're still gonna need layer twos. That's why we really believe in Polygon or Matic. There are other coins that get a move based on the Ethereum merge. So what we're gonna actually be doing is we're actually going to be using the opportunity where it's back at support, but still seems in a bullish uptrend, coupled with the ETH merge news. You know, that rally will probably continue in the short term. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add $1,000 of optimism here. And then over here, we are going to add 750 here. You know what? We're gonna add 1250 here. This is a short term play for us in both situations. What we're looking for is we're looking for optimism to move up. I have no plans of keeping optimism in my portfolio forever. Now, maybe it turns out to be great. Maybe that's a bad mistake. But I think compared to some of these other ones, I think it'll be okay. But what we're going to be doing here is we're going to use this $1,250 and this $750. And we are going to try to ride that up for the next week. And we're going to be looking for a spot to take profits on it. I don't care about optimism right now. It's not what I'm super passionate about. I would rather have it in something else, maybe with higher potential over the long term. So all we're trying to do right now is in a week where they've moved up, so we're not wanting to allocate too many of our resources in an up market. We were able to find two coins that are set up really well because I think Optimism was up only 2% for the week. I think last week it was up like 70%, right? So that was a big retracement. So we're trying to find short-term opportunities to try to make some money. With Sandbox, I might leave this one in here. For the 25K portfolio, Sand isn't necessarily a short-term play. It was more about finding a spot for Sandbox in the price to where it makes sense to add it into the portfolio. Because last week, of course, we talked about what are some coins we're looking to add. Obviously, Sandbox was one of the major ones that I suggested. I did not have in the portfolio that I wanted. Also, like more targets I'm looking at, obviously, Algo, HBAR. These are the two that I'm really looking to fit in the portfolio and probably both of these, maybe one or the other here. I'm not sure which one I would say, but these are two that I'm looking to fit in, but you gotta fit them in where they make sense. You can't just go out and start buying everything. You have to be patient during times like this. It, it's very, very, very important to understand. It feels good when prices are going up. And prices have been going up last week, but that doesn't affect the overall projection of where we think the market is going. And we could be wrong. That's why we're adding some things. That's why we're looking for some of these short-term plays, maybe to reallocate into something else at some point. But these are the changes we're making this week. If this sand pick does not hit or markets do not drop, look for us to keep this 1K the portfolio the same for maybe several more weeks. You don't have as much wiggle room with the 1K. We can't just come in here every single week and add a coin or dollar cost average. You just run out of money too fast with a $1,000 portfolio. So we'll see what we can do with this. Hopefully we get sand moving in the right direction if the market rallies and we can sell this off and maybe add something else in here. It's a long-term hold here. For both of these, optimism is a short-term play based on it being at support after hitting all-time high. It's very likely in my opinion, just like we said before with optimism, when it looked like it was running, the charts are very favorable for it to make another all-time high. So we're gonna check that out, see what happens. And, you know, we'll get going next week on week three.